never stop improving. Be inspired by our incredible black and white interviews with the best of the best in the business. It's only available inside of the Josh Vegan membership. There is just something that happens when you see someone who does a great business turnaround. They're in a position that they're really dissatisfied with their current results. They then start thinking about a vision of where they wanna go and they're prepared to go and do those actions. And as a coach, what are the things that we see that are the characteristics of a great business turnaround? Well, first of all, we get clarity of the goal. What is it that we actually wanna go and achieve around listings, sales, income, buyer appointments, market appraisals, listing appointments? And how do we actually go and make that happen? Once we've got that, we then commit to doing some really basic actions. And these are the things that I see that people really do to change their business life. The first key thing that they do is they put in a directions meeting at the start of the day. The directions meeting is a really important one because it's where we get to talk about what we're gonna be doing and it's where we get to focus on the core activities. Who are the next five people that we should be talking today? What are the next five listings that we can go out there to get? And in addition to that, who are the next five buyers that are actually gonna buy? And then we start thinking what one activity will give, really give us significant leverage today. When we do that directions meeting at the start of the day, it gets the alignment inside of the team. And then what then happens is that then when we get to three o'clock in the afternoon, we do a quick little check-in meeting with each other to see where are we at and what do we need to do. This allows us to get any work done before close of business. Now, why is this so critically important? Because the frequency that you meet determines the speed of your business growth. And if you're meeting on a regular and consistent basis, aka two times a day, you're going to allow that momentum to really breed. What then happens after that is that you then go into doing a 45 minute call session at the start of every business day. Why is that so critically important? Because no matter what stage or age you're at inside of the real estate industry, we all need to be doing more buyer appointments, more market appraisals and more listing appointments. If you're in front of customers, you'll make great business happen. Now what we've found is that there's a lot of people that really don't have that allocation of that work that way. They kind of come in, they allow the emails to control what it is that they're doing, and they don't have clarity about what actually needs to get done. They also allow their emotions to get in the way. And for me, the most important part is to remember that actions happen before the emotions. Because if you can get the action to happen before the emotions, you feel much better about the day. To me, getting those appointments is really critical because if you can make that happen, you're out there with customers, you're actually gonna make great things occur inside of your business. Now, if we've got a directions meeting, we've got a loop back meeting at 3 p.m., combining that with a 45 minute call session and we're getting three appointments a day, we're actually in a position to really hit that success. But there's something else that happens. You start to prioritize work because you get really clear that time is limited. And as a part of that, you start to work from a really clear set of values that allow you to be able to make better decisions. For me, there are three values that are critically important. Number one is health, and it's the number one value because if I'm good and I'm healthy and I feel great, I'm gonna do more of the work. Number two is about family, allocating that precious time with loved ones and people that are really important to you. And number three is then work, being able to allocate the workflow so you can get more of that work done. What I would say to you is really critical here is that you need to make sure that you've got the health and you've got family and then when you go to work that you're really clear about what outcomes look like. And when all of a sudden you limit the amount of time that you can go to work, you actually achieve much better results. But for me, I say to people, you mean that you spent 40 or 50 hours of your incredible life sitting here at the office and not a single person wanted to meet with you this week. And this is about getting clarity that maybe we need to start changing some of the actions that you're doing to really get that level of success. One other great tip here is to make sure at the top of every day inside of your calendar, you have an all day appointment. And in that all day appointment, have a list of all the things that happen on that day. So maybe for example, on a Monday, you've got open for inspection callbacks. Maybe for example, it's preparation of vendor packs. Maybe in addition to that, it's about calling all of the people that have been underbidders on previous auctions to see whether or not they've bought. But then you know what you do every Monday, so you don't have to worry about it. Same for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And if you're operating in a team, you list out each team member and what their functions are on those particular days. You set them as reoccurring appointments forever, so then you actually know that we've got everything in alignment. And this is what a great team does. It works from structure rather than emotions. It gets clear on what it wants to achieve rather than being vague. It gets them into a position that they get out there and they do all of the basic work that really breeds momentum. A great business turnaround starts today and it's up to you to make that decision to get clear about what it is that you want to pull back to the systems that are gonna allow you to achieve your potential. I really hope you've enjoyed this coaching tip and we look forward to seeing you next time.